I did not ever think that something like this could happen to my family. And it did, and it did hard. I took my children out of their home and I moved them halfway across the United States to provide the best life that I possibly could for them. This can happen to anybody. The opiate addiction is killing people left and right. They come to us at the very end to try to help pick up the pieces. They don't have anyone to listen to them anymore. Because sometimes when the patients come to us, they have no hope. They don't think there's nothing else for them. We guide them, we help them, and we show them, yes, you can do it. My intention was always to work with broken people, to come alongside them as another broken person. Somebody believes that it's possible for them, when a lot of people haven't heard that it was possible for them before. That's what I think it means to be a warrior for hope. They've lost hope, they don't have that anymore. And just to hear the words, warrior and hope in the same sentence really um, gives them hope. You could see a sparkle in their eye. That patient to leave with a smile on their face, I have done my job for the day. That to me explains what a warrior of hope does, that I've given somebody hope to live another day. You can move on from this and you can provide hope and you can educate people and erase the stigma that's that surrounds substance use disorder. My goal in life is to break down that stigma and give people what our company is, a clean slate, because they deserve to start fresh again. It's that deep spiritual bond you find in humanity itself. How we as a team can come together as Warriors for Hope and battle the disease of addiction that unfortunately a lot of people push to the side. Who are we? If we all work together, then people can be in recovery. To show that genuine caring, that dignity, that respect, something I find completely just beautiful.